As we start this podcast, I would like to get San Pellegrino as the sponsor. Fuck Mount Franklin. Fuck Buble. And yeah, maybe I should just make my own sparkling water. I right, dude. Like I, I've been hitting the sparkling water like hard. <laughs> but I mix it with vodka though. <laughs> back to Australia. You come back every two weeks uh, from somewhere doing your comedy stuff. Yeah, hey guys, man. emo. We're Yo, what's back that? on. Good to be back again. Oh, it's been a minute. There's no structure anymore. You already know who he is and <laughs> what he's done. Go back to the previous episode to meet him again for the first time. But emo's been around for a while. Fringe is coming up again, and he's here to talk about that. But then talk about his stories because he's been everywhere. He's been at Edinburgh Festival uh, the last 12 months. He's been on a cruise ship with many old people that he <laughs> sold out. Four. Well, they are got no one else, nothing else to do, so may as well. And yeah, other places. Where else did you go last year? Ah, uh, last year, just, um, like in terms of countries, like New Zealand, Fiji, Vanuatu, New Caledonia. Um, like man, like these cruise ships got me in a different country. Um, so so often now, which is cool, man. Like uh, it's like a paid vacation. I really love it, man. You found the hack. Yeah, man. Like crack the G code with life, man. Like I'm I'm definitely I'm blessed. And favoured, so um, I'm enjoying it, man. Really so, enjoying it. So what's it, it like? In. How many days were you out? Or, uh, what's the longest amount of time you're out in sea? The longest amount of time I was uh, two weeks when I did like two back-to-back -back cruise ships. So there was uh, no docking or anything? Uh, it did, but then I, I, I did another run. So like yeah, I did yeah. two back-to-backs with yeah. the same ship. Um, uh, so I stayed on board for, for two nights. Yeah. Um, and, and then my next run started when... Uh, the old passengers got off and the new ones got on. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. And by old passengers, like everyone's old. So that's not what I'm <laughs> <laughs> So you're doing stand up on the show? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. On the, yeah, on the ships. Ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. what is it? How many shows do you do a day on the ship? It, it depends, man. Like, so they can get me on like a, on a week run um, or six day run and they can give me a show every single night or they can give me uh, three shows tonight, three shows tomorrow. They can give me two shows tonight, two shows yeah. the next day, day off. Two shows, like it, it, they just structure it how they structure it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's always cool anyway, man. Like I, I, I like just bagging them out, and, and then um, I, I got, I got free time. And what's uh, the uh, general age group on these cruises? Like predominantly, like uh, uh, old people. Yeah. Like yeah, we're talking about like fifty plus. But then you get like little spurts too. Like yeah. You get, like the 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 grandparents have bought the, the whole entire family. You got the um the the boyfriend girlfriend that wanted to try out cruise ships. Um. Uh. Then you get like the the mother that wants to bring the kids, or the mother that wants to bring one kid and just the yeah, partner. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, different uh, it's, it's, mixtures. Yeah. It's it's a it's a different mixture, man. But it's it's like it's mad cool, man. Like uh, you can always tell what kind of demographic you're gonna get with like certain ships, like the car. Princess is like a graveyard. Um, <laughs> no repeat customers on that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're just like, and then you get like the Splendor, which which you get like fairly, fairly young. Um, uh, Limonosa also kind like of a party like, vibes. Cruise. Yeah, to so the Royal Caribbean is um uh like party vibes. Um, Virgin, I haven't done that yet, but like that's the plan for this year. Uh, Ticking them all off. Yeah, yeah. Do you have like, one that's like uh, your? Ultimate so stadium. Virgin, so Virgin is um, the Virgin Cruises. Um, th they're supposed to be like the epitome of the like, Mount Everest of cruise ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you got to go do them Virgins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Amazing. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that, man. So um, my you, boy Dasso's on it. How do you get your first gig there? I get your first gig on that. Is, um, you gotta have a. So when I first um, wanted to get into cruise ships, I went to Brisbane to go perform at the Sit Down because Fideli, who the guy that owns the Sit Down Comedy Club. Uh, he books the comedians for P&O. Yeah. So I went there to go do... He has to see you do an hour, though. But a day before my solo show, they went into a lockdown. Um, oh. And then that, that kind of, like, prolonged things. But then I got my big break last year um, with um, uh, Carnival. It's like Rosemary. Shout out to Rosemary, um, who signed me on to Australia Global, which, which is a, it's a sub... Um, company to the Miami sort of. uh, company that we we yeah. vibe with, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. Okay. How many um how many other comedians would, would be on the same cruise ship? There's usually two of, two of us on board, but sometimes you get three. Yeah. So uh, so me me, it'll be me and another comedian. It, it it could be from a different company, 
or it could be from the same company. Uh, so I've, I've, I've toured with like Bart Freeburn, um, Gordon, Gordon Sutherland. Um, I'm, I can't wait to do some with Ben Dasso, my boy Joe White, yeah. um, cr Christian. Um, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of comedians that y you don't know that they do cruise ships until you get on cruise ships. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, how you been surviving all these years just doing comedy full time? Cruise ships, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, man. And then uh, you, you have a missus now. She's on. She's been on the show. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to um, uh, Aaliyah. Yeah. Um, she's, she's in town at the moment. Actually, we were in Melbourne. Um, uh, for Mark Nat Nui's um, uh, wedding. And uh, so some gigs fell through for her, which were supposed to be on the 28th of December. Mm. And, and this is like how cool our job is. Like something falls through on the other side of the world where you're supposed to go back to. He's like, oh, screw it. Why don't I just work here? <laughs> so uh, she, she just, yeah, she just up and decided. She only came with like enough clothes for 10 days. So we've just been buying like clothes. She's been wearing my clothes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's what chicks do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, I think she came in with my overalls the other day. Um, Was that your overalls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I complimented her yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah. So um, we'll just be taking it day by day. But like she came here, we, we got to spend our first Christmas together. Uh, New Year's, uh, I, I, was, I, I, I was working. I work every New Year's. Yeah, man, you're glowing. Yeah. Every, every, um, you've changed, bro, since you got a missus. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, I, I, like, wait, wait, like what's that saying? Um, love, love what you're doing. You never work another day in your life. Like, uh, like I'm really loving comedy right now, man. So, like New Year's Eve, I was with Jamal. Jamal was there as well. Like, we 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 are uh, at the comedy uh, comedy lounge for yeah. New Year's Eve, um, which was cool, man. We all just partied afterwards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's it like dating another comedian, though? Um, it's cool, man, because we get to run, like, uh, get to run material um, ac across with each other. Like, it's, it, quite often, the comedians. Like, uh, so me and my boy Joe. Sometimes I just be like, man, like, why isn't this working? I just fling it over to Joe. I'm like, yo, what do you think of this? B before he even finds out what it is that I'm trying to do, it's like, yo, what if you were to change that around? And then, like, sometimes it just takes a comedian's yeah, yeah. like outlook for, for for something to work. So we just were constantly just like bantering with each other. Um, uh, we 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 gig together, we tour together. So yeah, it's it's actually quite fun, man. Um, it's uh, it's it's quite the asset in a way as well, yeah. like um, because. You've you've got right in the same household um, the missing link, you know what I mean? So when you when you when you can't quite figure something out, you got the missing link just right in, right in, right in, right right in front of you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So where else have you gone um, around overseas that wasn't a result directly from a cruise ship? Oh, last year I yeah. I, I went uh, toward North America, mm -hmm. which was cool, man. <laughs> um, I, I I did the uh, the the uh, Canada fringes. So I did uh, Montreal, Ottawa, um, and um, Toronto, which was cool. And, and then we toured all over like the US. So wow. I, I did some r rooms in like Chicago. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I did. I did uh, the Laugh Factory um, uh, in Chicago. I don't know if you know the Laugh Factory is a room where uh, Kramer went nuts and started calling people the N word. Damn it, Kramer. I love that TV show. You <laughs> ruined it for me. <laughs> so when you were in like Canada and all the US cities, how long yeah. were you in each one of them for? Uh, probably like a maximum, like seven days. Wow. It's so, yeah. a long time for each city. Yeah. So when we were doing Fringe, um, Fringe was only like like six shows or seven shows yeah. across the, the week. So we we're there, oh, no, so eight days. So we'll, we'll be there for like eight days and that would consist of like six shows. Um, and then we always reverted back to Pittsburgh. Because Pittsburgh was base for us, yeah. So we'd go to Pittsburgh, uh, spend like five, six, seven days, um, uh, and then it'll be like, oh, we gotta go to, um, to Montreal for the for the fringe there. And yeah. So we'll drive down to Montreal, which was the furthest we went anyway. So like Montreal was like eight hours, Ottawa was six and a half, Toronto was five. Yeah. So we always reverted back to Pittsburgh, which was cool, man, because <laughs> like it, it felt because it was like a three, three and a half, oh, like three and a bit um, uh, months cr uh, tour. Wow. So ha just having that place as a base was cool. So like always, oh yeah, we're about to go back home for a week. <laughs> like yeah. It felt, yeah it felt, How it felt much that. poutine did you have? Uh, poutine? Uh, this time around, I, I think I ate poutine like once. Oh yeah. Like once. Um, like w the first time I went out there, like, I, I, just, I couldn't get enough of the stuff, man. But like once once you've you've gone somewhere, like, um, you, yeah. you, you start, uh, I, I'm a firm believer when you're traveling, never eat from the same place twice, you know what I mean? Mm. And, and same with like, uh, don't eat the same food as well, especially when you're trying to uh, like expose yourself to what is uh, a possibility of, uh, 
uh, of an exposure to your your, your palate, yeah. if you will. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did that in Asia. When we were in Asia, like we had one pack. It was like, yeah, yeah, dude. Like, it was amazing, but we can't go there again today. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like always go somewhere different. I mean, uh, when I went to Bali, um, there were some hot spots there, and there's a one specific restaurant. Um, shit, I forgot the name of it already. It's so good. Oh, it's the worst. You ate there twice? Yeah, I ate there, t- I ate there twice. Yeah? But we had different food. Okay, yeah. So yeah. we had different dishes. And yeah, it was just ridiculous. When, I was, in, when I was in Bali, yeah. I, I went and tried uh, Bubba's shrimp. Oh, yeah. Did you like that? We went there and sat down. Yeah. And then everything's deep fried. I don't eat yeah, deep fried. Oh, uh, dude, like, I, I, like, it was like cheesy shrimp. Like, I, I loved it, man. Yeah. But, but once don't get again, me wrong, it's nice. Once again, though, it was just like... We, we can't go back there again. Yeah. Um, well, not on this trip anyway, because otherwise, you know, exposing yourself mm. to um, uh, the possibilities. I remember the name, Shelter. It's called Shelter. Shelter? Shelter. It's in, Ch- I think it's Changu or Seminyak or one of them. But yeah, Shelter. It is, it's bougie. A little, yeah. bit, little bit on the bougie side. Like they decked it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. They're proper and they're, they've got a lot of workers working in there and um, you can see the kitchen and, and they, they played it up real nice. They're very attentive and all that. Proper Balinese people working in the kitchen too? Yes and no. I don't, that yeah, there's, there's, there's like multicultural like Europeans okay. and stuff as well. I got catfished in, uh, in Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, went to this Indian restaurant, bro. I, I was, in, like the lady that was serving us was Indian. I was like, yeah, this place looks legit. <laughs> <laughs> they always have the same ethnic group at the front. Yeah, bro. But the, then the, the person that like, the, the kitchen door swung and I saw a white dude. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Because Edinburgh, like hands down, probably has the worst food <laughs> I've ever had in any country. Oh my god. Like in any country. No. Nah. Like, like they, they dimmed everything down right down to Nando's. Like there was like a missing flavor in no. Nando's. Like the, the the curry was terrible. We we eventually found this um, butcher up the road from where we were staying, and he used to marinate chicken wings for us. So at, <laughs> after a long day of shit food, <laughs> we always had chicken wings to look forward to. Like it was, so we just grill up chicken wings at like two a.m. every single night. Like, like, so. Yeah, man. So. Uh, it, it was like the emergency axe behind the glass, yeah. man, honestly. You mentioned the cultural uh, catfishing in restaurants. Um, there's a really nice bakery in Scarborough. Um, okay. What, what's it called? Uh, from the shittest with names right now, but it's like just up the road from the rendezvous. Like you just got that little road, the Scarborough Beach Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just to the left as you go up. I just think I've been bit. to that bakery. Dude, it's legit. Yeah. And it's just all Asian people. But it's yeah. a French bakery. Yeah, because... Um, cause so the French had a, a a big hand in Vietnam, so like hence like where the um uh, the Bami came from. Mm. So the, so when the French came and occupied Vietnam, like a lot of their influences, like the, the, it was the croissant, like that. There you go. Yeah, so there like, there's a lot of French influences yeah. when it came to Vietnam. But like Scarborough Beach Road, is full of gems in terms of food. Oh yeah, hundred oh yeah, percent. Like holy yeah. shit, it is yeah. like I, I would even I the would Nando's is like top yeah. like top tier. Yeah. Like yeah. When I was at the bakery though, I looked back. At the back, I'm like, surely there's a French. Pr- oh, there is. Yeah, uh, there's <laughs> a French. Thing. A, they have the token French guy. <laughs> he had a French and, shirt on. And, um, <laughs> 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 no, he just he, he, he sounded French. He yeah. didn't look French. And then oh, the, the placebo French stuff. Effect. Yeah, <laughs> it's like on um, uh, what's that? My Modern Family. You see yeah, that yeah, skit yeah. where he's just like, oh, when, when he went, when to, he went to France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Burger King is that way. <laughs> and then he, uh, he put yeah. on a scarf and have a speaking French to him. And yeah. then he ordered the pigeon. He's like, what? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I'm not French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, there's, there's other places. Uh, I have this rule of thumb. This, this is a theory. Any Asian barista, uh-huh. all time, like they will do a good job. Any, any, anytime I get a coffee, mm-hmm. if it's an Asian barista, the coffee is always good. Well, I have, I have, a, I have a thing. Anything from Japan... It's always gonna be good. I'm going to Japan. Seven days, now, boy. You going to Japan? Yeah. Yeah, because the, 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 the Japanese are not known for doing anything half ass. Yeah. Like they, they will kill themselves in honor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's it. This croissant is shit. Yeah. Oh, bro. You, and yeah, just, you brought this great dishonor to the family. <laughs> I don't know where that accent <laughs> just came from. <laughs> anything from Japan? Electronics. Yeah. Like we're talking about food. What, like Wager. 
It's why it's why I plug the den on. Japanese yeah. company. Shout out to the Japs, man. Thanks uh, to can the Can you Japs. call them Japs? Like, uh, yeah. I, I, they don't know. <laughs> um, when, in you Russian, to, when, when are you going to Japan? I'm going on the 19th. So going to oh, Tokyo for one. This, this yeah. month? Yeah. Oh, so next Friday. Yo, yeah. dude. Yeah. And you're gone for how long? Uh, two weeks. So we land in Tokyo and we stay there overnight. You and the wife? Yep. Okay. The wife. Did, just so the annual... Uh, vacation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sort of. Yep. Um, so how it works is I didn't really take time off um, during the uh, Christmas break. Yeah. I don't really th- see it as taking time off or taking a break because I love what I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just work a lot. You still and, just be working while you And there is a, there's, there's sense of burnout even if you do something you love. Yep, yeah. Anyway, I got a, I'm really addicted now. I'm really like honed in. I, I know what I need to do. Like yep. really, really. So exciting year for me. But we've been planning for Japan for 12 months now. And because it's winter there, it's snowing. Are you going to go to... We're uh, going y- snowboarding. Yep. Oh, yeah. sick, so sick. we've been training for it. Oh, for real? Yeah. So uh, How with no, sm- <laughs> with no snow? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I thought, I thought we'd never get there. So um, I go to Athletic Institute, another plug, always plugging. Yeah. And uh, my guy, Chris, Chris Ormsby, he's been my trainer, my mate for years. We met at uni and he's a good bloke. And uh, Corey Green's gym, Athletic Institute, Mangara, plug, plug, plug. Um, yeah, we've just been training, like like doing squats, mobility work. Okay, I, um, I was like, I thought you, you found yourself a simulated stuff. snow. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah. I don't think it would get much business in Perth because people would like, it would be gimmicky, like the, the fake wave thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I've just been trying to get my strength up, and but also the balance. Yeah. The balance, strength and that. I didn't try to get too swole. I'm um, trying to lose a bit of fat so I don't have to haul my ass up every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, Sabine's been absolutely mad with it. So she's she's been dominating with it. But um, we went there last week with our snow gear, like yeah. our snowboard, um, and we, like, put everything on. And I was doing fucking 180s and shit on, yeah, the, yeah, on, yeah. The, on the fake grass turf. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't going down. I was just on the spot because I was just, like, practicing doing 360s and stuff on the spot. Yeah, that's what's up, um, man. And yeah, I started to nail it. Um, and I'm like, yeah, cool, I'm ready. I am ready. And then, yeah, Sabine was really balanced as well. So, snowing, uh, snowboarding is, is on the list. Yes. Definitely Wegu. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, oh, that, my God. I think that's like the, the, the factory where they print them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I, I can't wait to go to Japan. Oh, dude. Like, Have you ever short. been? No, I haven't, man. <sighs> Um, I haven't been to Japan, but dude, I, we should go together. Oh, imagine That'd be that! Funny as oh, fuck. Someone's getting arrested. Then, <laughs> like, we do, like, do skits and shit because, like, I I am the best. I am more myself and have the most confidence. Like with when, when Jamal's recording yeah. me out in the street because he's got the that comedy sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I talked to Dave Hughes about this as well. He was on the pod yes uh, last week, and uh, you know the idiot abroad, Ricky Gervais, and um, what's his name, Carl, someone. I, I know Ricky Gervais. Yeah. That, that's a show? Yeah, there's a show called Idiot Abroad. Um, okay. It was on SBS back in the day. And yeah, his best mate, Carl, he would send him to places, experiences. Oh, and okay. Carl was, was a little bit of like a, he'd be naggy. He'd be like, what the fuck is this? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Yeah. But it would be like produced and stuff. And Ricky would set him up for like failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. so funny. Oh. It was so funny. And I'm like, I want to do that, but... Call it a tall idiot abroad. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Tall, yeah. tall guy. To start a series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, when when you went to New York last time, did you end up doing the the five boroughs? I went to three of them. Three of them. I went as far as the Bronx. That's the one borough I haven't been. Yeah, so I went I've been to every one of the boroughs except for Bronx. Sorry. So that's the big finish. Yeah. Just get robbed. Fucking. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I escaped death I think because uh, a lot of the comments in the video that I put up. So the story goes like this: I was uh, near the World Trade Center Memorial and I was doing interviews because there was a it was a Friday and there was a whole bunch of food trucks and I was just like interviewing people and stuff. And there's this one really well dressed dude. His name's uh, Brian. And uh, he had a yo-yo and he was doing some cool shit. I went up to him and just said, would you like an interview? And yeah, he was so chill. And uh, he he says he works for the mayor, which is cool. And Mm. then, yeah, he was doing yo-yo tricks and stuff. And I said, Brian, where do you recommend that I go, like for food? He goes, out in the Bronx, there's a place uh, that has these Jamaican cakes, these Jamaican, those kind of... Patties. Patties, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, cool, sick. And then we literally went there that the same day or the next day 
Took took like an hour because of the trains. Yeah. Um, and the J yeah. train was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got out there, and there it is, right there. And it's it's like a line out the door. I was like, sick. We got there, made a whole video about it, and then school was just finished up. So all the kids were like trying yeah. to get in the back of my videos yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, posted it all. It was it was a great experience. Nothing harm. No no no. Nothing bad happened. <laughs> Went home and then posted the video, and then <laughs> the comments were like. Dude sent him out to the Bronx. Dude sent him out to the hood. Dude <coughs> almost got shot. <laughs> trying to eat, taste some food. Almost died. <laughs> <laughs> do, you end up, do you end up trying the, the Philly steak cheese or the chopped cheese? I've tried the actual one in yeah. Philly. Okay. So it was it was so good yeah. when I was there. Uh, but it's been it's been almost like eight years. I definitely want to go back to Philly. Yeah, like the the, the beauty of like Pittsburgh, man. Like you seem to get this New York and um, uh, Philly sort of um, yeah, I never get to influence. Pit- yeah. yeah. So is it is it a hole there or is it all right? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's mad old, it's, man. It's like, so, so Pittsburgh is... They're mad baseball it's, it's, and hockey fans. Yeah, it's, it's known for the, for their bridges. Mm. So it's like the city of bridges for some yeah. reason. Like there's bridges everywhere. That's how uh, they get over things. It's like old. It's like very old. Yeah. So there's, uh, one thing you'll notice when you get to Pittsburgh is there's a lot of cemeteries. Oh, like, shit. Yeah, and I think it's because... Like the one of the big battles happened over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you been to Arlington Cemetery in Washington DC? No, no. I've I've been to DC. Okay. Yeah. What about? um, Did you ever go up to Boston at all? No, I've been to NY. I went to New York. Did did the did did four of the five boroughs. Um, uh, Pittsburgh. Drove drove through Buffalo. It's all, it's a whole thing. And when you get it, it's this tiny little thing. You eat it, it's I, amazing. And you're like, I need another five. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I was just eating hot dogs. So <laughs> like, <laughs> when in Chicago, like, yeah, I was just ha- having a... Next time I'm, I'm there, I will be training to be able to 
just go all out with the food. Yeah. yeah and that, I'll be walking at least 15,000 steps. Cause you got to get it in right, right now while you're t- still in that age bracket where you can still just do it. Like, yeah, but cause, cause I just, just want to get to maintenance mode. Yeah. And then I can have a day that I can just go off the shelf, you know, just off yeah. the hook, off the rails. Because the last time I was there, I think I gained like five kilos. Yeah. Crazy. I, 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 and then I, the San Fran side. You've been to San Fran? I love Sham- San Fran. I mean, the seafood. Have you seen, dude, how big were the, the seagulls? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 fucking I was dude. taking pictures and sending them back <laughs> home. And people were like, dude, you got to put something next yeah, to you, it. You like, it yeah, but you can't because the seagulls are very untrustworthy. Yeah, they'll fuck you up. <laughs> they're like, they, they, I, sh- I should Literally. Not, that like big. dinosaurs, man. Like They're yeah. like this big. But if you take a picture of it, it looks like a normal size seagull <laughs> because there's nothing to compare it to. Like, it's, like they, they got huge ones in Edinburgh as well. Mm. Like I remember watching one snatch up someone's whole pizza. Oh my god! And, and then it went. Imagine the and shit. It wouldn't let go. <laughs> like it was going down with the pizza. <laughs> Fucking hell! Imagine the shit it would take on your car. Oh, Just the whole thing. Yeah, covered. it's breaking windows for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of breaking windows, did you, any, did you see any of that when you were there? Because they. Like in Edinburgh? No, in San Fran. Uh, no, well, big time. No, but we 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 stayed. Um, it was only like ten minutes from the city. Like that's where it all happens. <laughs> Which was where Suge Knight ended up running over that dude Terry Carter on the set of Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, um, went to where they filmed Baby Boy, mm-hmm. which is which was in South Central. Is it run down or is it all right? No, dude. Like, so Compton itself, when you get there, like the homes are on like big plots of land, bro. Mm. Like, like the people got like big backyards, like the, the like. The, the grass is like for some reason these black people they they they've got manicured like l- lawns, bro. Like they take care of. It's just they get a little bit shooty. Yeah. Yeah. Trigger happy. Yeah. yeah. Um. Like, cause Compton once upon a time was just a predominantly white neighborhood. Yeah. I, like that that show. Ge- yeah. George Bush Senior used to live in Compton. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, there's a whole Netflix series about it. Oh really? Yeah. Not George Bush Senior. The 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 white dudes. The, the when they first started going to Compton. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was named after a white dude too. Yeah. Like Compton is a, 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 a old older white gentleman's name. Yeah. Mm. I mean, the <laughs> Bloods and the Crips came along in yeah, the sixties. It's, it's been blackified now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But um, the food. The f- yeah. Oh, the, f- the food was good. Like mm. um, so if you ever um out in the hood, you, you, soul food is uh is is one. Uh, Mac took me to Roscoe's Chicken, uh, Chicken and Waffles. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had uh, the Obama, um, <laughs> which was like waffles and chicken and maple syrup. I don't know how you feel about this. Like, I don't know if I would like my chicken next to my waffles. I've never, I've never tried it, but it's just like, why, why those two specifically yeah. and for breakfast? I, I would still have it. It's just I, I'm not gonna be having them in one bite. Yeah. Yeah, like I sep- I segregate. Yeah. <laughs> Drown it in maple syrup, it all tastes yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, like when I was there in uh, March, April, um, it was just New York, and 
I went to all my favorite places and I was like, it's more expensive, there's less of it, and it's shitter than I remember. Like, I went to uh, Chick fil A. I love Chick fil A. Yep, yep. Chick fil A was good. No. Um, it wasn't as good as I remembered. You, uh, you, you, no. didn't, you didn't like it? No, it was like just. Church's Chicken was yeah. all right too. I went to uh, Joe's Pizza, that was all time. What about Fat Burger? You ever been fat, to fat Burger? I've yeah. been to Fat Burger. Yeah, fat, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought Fat Burger was the shit. Yeah, <laughs> I went to Shake Shack. That was shit. Just overpriced. In and Out was good. Small. In and Out's only in, in California. Yeah, yeah so. I went to In and Out. Um, uh, but I went to um, Five Guys. Five Guys is Five Guys is good. S yeah. tier for me. Dude, they had Five Guys in uh, Edinburgh. Yeah, they have so, it in Melbourne. Oh, so they have like the franchise of shit. Yeah, out of it's it moving now. here. I doubt it will come to Perth because no one has enough money. Yeah, here. Don't, don't don't downplay Perth. Like, I would I would I, love. I'm in Melbourne, like trying to sell Perth to them. And I'm like, yo, you should, I got some <laughs> friends of mine that moved to like Melbourne like 20 years ago. Mm. I'm like, yo, you gotta come back to Perth, man. Like we're, we're, we're upgrading. We got a Krispy Kreme now. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> That's my selling point. Well, all the um, <laughs> all the bloody real estate agents, they're all fucking on TikTok saying, oh, if you wanna if you wanna uh, increase your portfolio. Buy something in Perth. You don't even have to go there. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, fuck our whole thing up. We're, yeah. we're struggling to get a house here ourselves. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, fucking go to... They'll do what they did to Sydney. Yeah. Like, you make make everything unaffordable. Like, I've got five houses, but I can't afford a sixth one in Sydney. <laughs> what do I do, real estate agent? Go to Perth. Go to Perth. You go, don't even have to go to Perth. Go, go, go ruin it for them. Sorry for the interruption, but this show would not be possible without the help of Bright Tank Brewery. They are the major sponsor of the Sevo Show. Huge shout outs to them. Check them out. Great beers, great people, great everything. And uh, well, let's get back to the episode. <laughs> but that's the thing. They, they calculate our income based on um, uh, people working at the mines. Wow. So, so whenever you're looking for like a rental like here, yeah, it's because you get there, there's like 20 people there uh, 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 like for a home opening. Yeah. And then someone will be like, Psst. If you give it to me, I'll pay uh, $70. I've done that myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll pay $70 over the 400 that you're asking for. So I'll pay 470 And something extra, if you yes. know what I mean. So then this dickhead moves out a year later, and the going rate is now 470 Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's no longer 400 now. It's yeah. 470 The desperate. The yeah. desperate. Um, uh, my wife said to me this morning, there's a house that's being rented out um, in Bentley um, near their friend's house. And they're charging three hundred and twenty dollars per room in the house. They've got uh, three that's, rooms. Yeah, that's because Bentley is near the university. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's probably because of the university. So, so they're, they're charging those curtain university. Yeah. Um, Centrelink uh, subsidizes it so they can get away with it, but I'm just like, man, that is stealing. Yeah, man. Like it's it's become unaffordable now. Like, yeah. I, like I, I, I'll, I'll be damned. Like before you know, I probably won't be able to live in mainland. The, bu- <laughs> the bubble will pop eventually, and every economist, uh, we'll start from, economist, we'll start from scratch again. No? They're all like, "Oh, it's going to go down in 2025 and 2026 and 2032. We should be good." And then Gen Z doesn't want to go into the mines because yeah. they're fucking lazy, and no, not lazy, but lazy. And <laughs> and then the next generation, they're all like, "What do you mean I don't get an iPad?" When do you reckon the bubble will pop then? Oh fuck, I don't know. I they said the economy is gonna go to shit this year. Like the yeah, recession. we had a little bit of a we had, like we had like a lazy recession last year. Yeah, a lazy recession. Yeah, but the middle class is definitely disappearing. Like yeah, I've have heard a lot about that. It's gonna become like the states. Yeah. Yeah, like a like huge the, divide. The middle class, before you know it, we're working for tips. And there's going to be <laughs> or like the civil war. The last civil war in America was 158 years ago and. Um, 17, no, 18 fucking... With Lincoln? 60, yeah, with, one. With Lincoln? Uh, yeah. When, when uh, Lincoln, uh, the South. Yeah, the yeah, South yeah. and the North yeah, and the, the South. But the confed- now... Confederates. But now it looks like it's going to be an East-West sort of thing. Oh. Now, I'm not saying there's going to be a civil war. <laughs> yeah. just, uh, there's a movie actually coming out about this. Okay. It's got um, uh, Kirsten Dunst in it. Um, Jamie, can you pull up the movie title? No, he's, he's in his zone. Um, but, yeah, there's a movie coming out very soon. Um, yeah, just go Kirsten Dunst next movie about civil war in America. And it's like it looks real. Um, Obama actually has a production or he's, budget, uh, he's funding a production company. Um, and, they, and they have a, a movie that came out recently called Leave the World Behind. And that looks so fucking real. Oh, I, I, I'll definitely will ch- check that Holy out. Holy Guess shit. what I read up when I was on, um, on my way down here. That there's there's whispers that um, Michelle might be running 
Oi. For for um, presidency. Get it. Doing yeah. a, doing a uh, Clinton special. That's the only thing that makes sense, though, because right now Trump is leading the polls. Yeah. Um, even though he was... Far out. You got me talking about... family in Ukraine and I've got people that I know in family in Russia okay and the media is not is completely bullshit yeah it's, so, so it's cool down no 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 well the 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 way that it's been portrayed uh -huh. is fucking bullshit okay because I'm getting the sources from each side live family yeah. life and um, and I'm like what the fuck and then I, I would see a news article and I'd just send it to them and then they'd send it back and go, <laughs> that's not what's happening. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> you know? And again, there's no agendas. They live there and they just like yeah. see it, you know? And the, med the media. Uh, Whoever is against the media, that's who I go for. Yeah. They're really, uh, yeah, the, the, we've, got, we've gotten to see how, how powerful the media um, has yeah. been playing games over the exactly. last couple of years. Um, just purely from experience from what we've been witnessing recently you know yeah i mean, I mean yeah. like there's all this shit that's happened in the last three years and i i see my focus is on the kids right yeah the dude. kids the kids need need someone or some people to look up to yeah that aren't gonna shit the bed and sell out they're not gonna yeah. start fucking selling prime or shit they're they're there for them yeah. And I'm there for did, them. Did you see that uh, South Park episode that they... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> that was so accurate. Eh? Like, because kids were, yeah. like, going nuts with They're this... Yes. Yeah. Because they don't have anything else to look up to. Mm. And then these influencers like Logan Paul, yeah. I, I respect him as a business person, but I don't respect him as a... He, he's selfish. Mm. Like, he, he is selfish. And you're allowed to be selfish. Yeah. You can, but... At, Does he at, own it? To the point that you need to become selfless. But hey, each to their own. If you want to be a selfish person, you just want to let, get it yourself. Let like, it be known. Dude's got millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Right? And again, all credit to his success. Yeah. All cred to his success. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but like, it's like, all right, dude, cool. All right. You're fighting. Flo you, you fought. Was he, did he fight Floyd Mayweather? Uh, Was that him? Well, I, yeah, oh, no. yeah, yeah. I I'm pretty sure he, he, he did. He fought it. some. He fought yeah. heaps of people, and like I actually, I actually respect his brother more, Jake, because his his brother pulled one of the fucking hottest athletes.
talks to comedians a lot more mm. because they see the world as it is and they take the comedy out of the tragedy. Yeah. Whereas other celebrities, they either milk the tragedy and go, oh, my God, I'm so, yeah, you know, free this country and fuck this I'm country. I'm 60% oppressed. And, and, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, these lives matter. And it's just like your life doesn't matter because you don't do anything else except for commentate. Yeah. Right? That's what they that's what they do. They they commentate on what's trending yeah. and they leverage that and then they just build on that. And and comedians, they do the same, but they take the piss out of it. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah. And like Ricky Gervais' recent um stint Armageddon wasn't as best as Supernatural. And I feel like all these other comedians are all coming in going, This is a topic, trans, fucking whatever, and they're like, Let's cover it. And I'm keen to see all the comedians in all their different styles yep. cover it. But at the same time, I'm like, do something new. And that's why I talked to you about Morgan Jay before. Yeah, before yeah, uh, yeah, he was hilarious. He doesn't fucking talk about it. He just, he just talks do, do, do real. You know, do you know what special I just recently um, just watched, man? I, and I swear, I, I don't, I'm not using this word loosely. It was a masterpiece. Chappelle's latest special. I watched that Did straight watch after it? Gervais's oh one. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah. He literally said to the world, since we're all so fragile, he goes, I'm going to make fun of everyone and just watch. If anyone gets offended, he can literally say these words here. Oh, what part was offensive, by the way? Oh, you didn't like that one. But the other 50 minutes was cool though, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so you're... you're yeah, yeah, This yeah. is about you then, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh man, like yeah, 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 it's yeah. such a... Yeah. Uh, like Ch Chappelle is going to go like in, into yeah, the books, man. He's, he's yeah. a goat. He's a goat. He's, he's, he's done it perfectly. Yeah. And like uh, when I was watching that and he goes, do you mind if I tell a like a big, like long story to cut it, like end it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets his, gets his cigarette and yeah. starts talking and I'm just like, this is cool. This, yeah. You know, he's earned that. Right? Yeah, he Other has. Other comedians try to do that now, and Dave said this on the podcast. He goes, the people go, who the fuck cares? But it's yeah. just his storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, Ch Chappelle, he's, he's in a different, he's in a different realm. Like, yeah. he, he, like he, he, he works at a different frequency, you know what I mean? <coughs> yeah. And I think that's why each, uh, every, every comedian has respect for him, mm. because he was that guy that walked away from the 50 million. And that brings me to like Cat Williams right now. Okay. Like, have you have you heard? Like, yeah. yeah I, I believe Cat. Like, I, like I genuinely believe Cat. Like, because, like, if you look if you look at it, if history is repeating itself, they called Chappelle crazy. They said he was fucking smoking crack, um, which he wasn't. Um, uh, they they um, they get rid of all of your credibility. And I think that's what they did with Cat, man. Like, Cat has been saying all this crazy, outlandish stuff, but receipts have been popping out. Yeah. You know what I mean? The receipts are always the yeah, best. Yeah, the receipts have been mm. popping out. Like, he, he's saying, this person stole this, receipt. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 there's nothing that you can't fact check apart from the, I read 3,000 books a year. Um, I did the maths on that. <laughs> that no. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of books, Cat. Yeah, you don't do anything else. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could probably listen to them, but... Um, yeah. The other one, Kanye. Kanye? Yeah. Kanye. He wasn't even meant to release an album. Yeah, but, but Kanye, does, Kanye does that, though. Like, uh, Kanye will, will have an album ready, cocked and loaded, and, and then he'll will throw out little... Teasers. Yeah, little teasers. And if he's not getting the response that he wants, he reels it back in. Remember Donda? Yeah. How many listening parties before he got to the version that he liked? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a comedian does it. Yeah. Like that you got to test it. Yeah, he's it. just refining he, it. He released or he was teasing about the um, the Backstreet Boys sample. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was sick. Every, yeah, yeah. I love, that was I love. fire. And I'm yeah. like, bro, release that. Like, yeah. come on. But then I'm like, okay, what are the other songs like? And then you, you see these leaks of all these different lists and all these song names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who did he? Who's he releasing it with? Um, is it? He was Ty with Rocky or some shit. I don't know. No, no, no. It's I'm so bad with this. It's Kanye and Kanye and someone with a dollar sign. Ty dollar sign. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Ty dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> <I got it. laughs> yeah, Ty, Ty dollar sign. sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Narrows it down, but still. I reckon that's gonna be fire. Like, yeah, but he should have. He was meant to release that. Yeah, already. He, he'll probably get rid of Ty 
and <laughs> Kanye and Kanye. Kanye, Kanye, yeah, Kanye featuring Kanye. Yeah. That's the yeah. Kanye thing I've heard in a long time. Yo, do you know what was so funny, man? It, it was <laughs> so he put out a press, uh, he, like he apologized to to the community that he was offending the anti-Semitic stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but then he doubled down the next day. He goes, um, "My doc, the doctor uh, misdiagnosed me, and I was put onto the wrong. I'm not gonna say what." What race that doctor was, and then at the end of the clip, he goes, He was Jewish, <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't help himself. He went back straight back there again <laughs> two days before he had just apologized. Oh, for sake. <laughs> oh fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 do, I do feel for him, yeah. And um, I just it's not about what someone's done, it's what they do next to you know make themselves better yeah. or, you know, bring out the receipts or... I think Kanye is that dude that, uh, like, we're always going to forever forgive him. Like, like Ka- Kanye could do some... <laughs> Remember, we, we thought it was the end when he um, snatched the mic from Taylor Swift. No. Not, not Tay-Tay, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But, but he, he goes back into his little yeah. bat cave, like, yeah. g- goes into his... <laughs> yeah. Society's gone into this world, though, where if you make a w- one public mistake, they want to just crush you for it. Yeah. But at the same time... Kanye's found a way. People's, well, more and more people are finding ways. Yeah. And, like, I firmly believe that there is good in everybody. Yeah. Like, whatever they're doing deep down inside, their intention is for a good purpose. Yeah. There are a couple of people that are pure evil. I'm not going to go into who they are or who they were. Netanyahu. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I honestly believe that there's a purpose and they're just misunderstood. And, you know, y- you can't let them out into the streets if they're literally harming and physically trying to kill someone. That's different, right? Yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. That is, you know. Uh, but even then, deep down inside, and I'm not justifying murderers or anything at all, deep down inside, they believe... Oh, murder's not murder when you're at war. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, murder's exactly. not murder when you're at war. Exactly. Like, if someone believes something in their hearts of all hearts, yeah. you can't change their mind. Yeah, maybe they they have a war inside their head and then someone's mm. telling them to do some shit. But, and that's why we have, you know, institutions like, you know, prisons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, mental and hospitals. Yeah, mental hospitals. Yeah. And, like, my, my wife, she used to work at a mental hospital, Greylands. Okay. And she was working in the cafe, right? And she used to work with a guy that, um, that like they, they gave him jobs inside. So yeah, keep so him busy. Keep him busy. And this guy had <laughs> keep the killed down. his... <laughs> he, <laughs> he killed his, I think, his mum and his sister. Oh. 20 years ago. That's tough. And he had a, he had a schizophrenic sort of episode. episode. Yeah. Yeah. And... So does he get released eventually if he... If he because he didn't do it in his right he, mind, right? He gets one day release a week. Oh. Yeah. Supervise? No. He just got to check back in Ooh. by a certain time or they go hunting. The streets are hot. Yeah. But I was like, <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, you're in the kitchen with this guy. There's mm. knives and shit. But what if I'm he has like, an episode then? Huh? What if he has an episode then? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she doesn't work there Whoops. anymore. But I was, like, I was like, Jesus, you know, like, fuck. Yeah. But obviously, um, they they monitor. They've got psychologists, psychiatrists, and all out there, and and uh, Sabine gets them fed, so they're not grumpy. <laughs> but um, yeah, like, what's your what's your wife's profession? She's an interior designer now. Oh, okay, I, yeah, I, that's a big career jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely wasn't a career for her to be a cafe person in a mental hospital. Yeah, she was uh, she was between jobs at the time, and she, she found the position on she, Yelp. <laughs> she actually volunteered originally. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she found a way to get paid because she's a hustler. Yeah. She gets from nice. the best. She learns from the best. So she designs for weddings and stuff as well? Or? Nah, she does. Uh, she does actually she likes design commercial. This? Yeah. I oh. said to her, I wanted like a gentleman club vibe or whatever. Yeah, this is sick. And uh, yeah, she got the she got everything. And nice. I can't wait for studio version two when we go four times as big. It's going to be sick. Bigger studio? Yep. yep. I really want a four times as big as this. So uh, this is like... 34 square meters and we're using half 
half of it for literally a permanent podcast setup. Yeah. I can't wait to have four times as big as the entire space. Nice. And then one quarter of it, which will still be the podcast, it'll be boxed off. Yeah. It'll be all soundproof panels. It'll be inside. I'm going to have the quietest fucking coldest air conditioner. Ah. And uh, maybe... I feel like I'm on, there. <laughs> de- maybe depending on whether... If it's like... If it's bottom floor, if it's like a rooftop one, we'll uh, get some vents and get... The you start looking for some ideas? Cigars going. Oh, Sabine's got that covered. Yeah. She's got it covered. Thing is, right, like there's a lot of commercial properties in Perth that are like f- empty. Always empty. Yeah. And now they're all going up for sale, which hasn't been a thing for a while. Now, I'm not any like uh, commercial property predictor or anything like that, but I think there might be something in that. It might be a good good play to invest in commercial property, actually yep. buy it. So instead of just buying it and then hoping someone will lease it out, decorate it, pimp it out. We work shit itself. They went under. Right, yep. that big building in the south, uh, you know that big uh, central tower building, the Central Park building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that's got the th- southwest yellow logo at the top, the pointy one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like fucking ten floors or something of WeWork, and WeWork went bankrupt. Ah. It's like, how does that? How does that work? What happens to that floor space? I mean, obviously they'll figure it out. I don't know the updates. This is all last year. If you wanted to, could you sleep here? No. But you could stay up working but I all night. I accidentally have fallen asleep here before overnight. You, you, sta- you can stay up as long as you want, though, if you're working, yeah, right? Yeah, we've, we've, Jamal and I, we've got the, we felt like it was a land party. We've got the computers here and we're just yeah, yeah, yeah. drinking and having pizza. Pizza's right across the road. Oh, nice. And yeah, we're just coding and fucking doing. I feel working. like I'd cut costs and just have a. Rock. You know, <laughs> the in Fremantle, they've rezoned it so that. All of the or a lot of the um, main street buildings, yeah, you can have residential at the top, commercial at the bottom. Oh, that's and I'm like, that is the dream, right? Yeah, there. dude. Oh man, just, dude. just roll out, just rock downstairs <laughs> in your pajamas. You got your workers coming in. Like, hey guys, yeah. oh, how's the drive in? That's oh, the yeah. dream, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah, but you, they're they're so expensive. But that is the dream. Like, f- free roads expensive. Yeah. What area you live in? I live in up north of the river in a place um, near the suburb of Whitford's. Ah, ah. I don't want to get people doxing. <laughs> Kids rock up my door. I, I, I sometimes forget because I talk so much about Maylands on stage. Yeah, yeah, I live in Maylands. There you yeah. go. I've, I live on Rottnest Island. The, people do get a little bit weird on me sometimes. Okay. I mean, some kids know where I live, but some kids have actually come to my house. I just tell them to fuck off. <laughs> you look like that online I'm like yeah Because you're at my house You fuckhead <laughs> Like I'm like, the nicest person to you When you come to my Until house Until you come to my house You know Justin Bieber your ass I, I, I had someone Snapchat um, uh, Themselves in front of my letterbox once I was like oh, That's a bit weird man Yeah, yeah. I mean <laughs> They get the <laughs> Matthew McConaughey goes Be less impressed And more involved when you meet someone that you like admire or adore, don't just go, can I get a photo? Like, have a conversation. Yeah. When's the next time you're going to meet them? Like, yeah. Like, I'm a local, right? You, can, you might see me again, but Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers, he doesn't, like, he doesn't have people take photos with him. He wants to have a conversation. Okay. I love that. I respect nice. that. Yeah, I love that about Hell yeah. Him, you know? But, um, yeah, it's just like you're idolizing someone and I – I appreciate your admiration, but I'm like, have a conversation. What are you doing? What are you up to? What are you? You you you, you have far far lasting memories. Mm. I feel oh. like it's getting worse though. I feel like the younger generations have got far less oh, yeah. social skills. Oh, for sure. And they, they're so quick to to whip out a phone. Eh? They're so quick to whip out a phone. They're so quick to judge. They're so quick to fucking go ape shit on you behind their phone. Mm. But when it comes to real life, they're like, oh, I've got social anxiety. <laughs> And uh, then they're fucking labeling themselves with all those other things we talked about before. Yeah, I just got my do- my my daughter a phone actually. Oh no, uh, how old like, is she now? She's twelve because she's starting high school. So I just wanted to make sure that. Uh, Has she got she, Snapchat? As of yet, I, 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 she's got WhatsApp, so I can like uh, Facetime with her and the, and, yeah. and, and her siblings. Yeah, um, I'm sure Snapchat's gonna be uh, on on the cards, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, dude, I, I, I don't know if you can stop that train, man. Like uh, You can. Well, no. She's you, limited to how... You uh, can slow down the train. Yeah, she, she's limited to how much... Uh, screen time? Screen time that she has. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. She, she gets an hour and a half uh, yeah. per, per day. 
Um, I, I how I'm going to make the play, and again, I'm speaking about from just observing. Um, my kid, kids, they're going to be born in maybe maybe this year. Sabine's not pregnant yet, but I'm hoping I'm getting the the year of the dragon. Okay, year, year of the dragon's goaded. Yeah, um, which means that the first kid will be Gen Alpha. Um, 2026 onwards is a new generation. I don't know what they're going to be called. Generation B- Gen Beta. Imagine being called a beta. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when they come of age <coughs> and they have their personalities and they start to think for themselves, I am going to educate them, of course, myself, and also give them guidance of what's to come. What's your number? Zero, four, three. Kids. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, two. I want to get two. two. Yeah. Two. If it gets to three, so be it. But two's three enough. was my number. Yeah. Yeah. How many I, you got now? D- just three. Yeah. Like I, 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 that's what. That's it's a fine line between a car and a van. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But um. Yeah. When like the whole mobile phone thing, it doesn't scare me. I I I am excited for what they do with it. With it. Yeah. That's my education around it. Yeah. You can have a phone. But you need to be productive what with it. What are you it. doing with it? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing with it? Are you wasting time? You can you can meet up with your mates. You can you can communicate with them um, through the phone. But yeah. what are you doing constructively? And yeah, you can just be a kid, right? Yeah. But at the same time, and this is going back to before we had phones, I feel like an old man saying it. I'm 33 now. Yeah. We we played around. We went to the park. We, stick. We, we, yeah. Sticks Tire. Were, stick, stick, sticks Tire. were like, sticks were my like fortnight. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. yeah. <laughs> and, and we would like eat sour grass, wondering if it was piss or sour. Oh, dude, you did that. You did that too? Yeah. I thought that was a me thing. Sour grass was yeah. fucking epic. <laughs> sour grass back in the day. It's just like, yeah. yeah. And you just, you just go a little bit inland and making sure that it's just not just off the beaten track, but like real off the beaten track. So you're yeah. not risking dog piss. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the homeless guy wakes up and you got to run for it, you know. <laughs> but my, my greatest memories were back in South Padbury, South Padbury Primary School. It's where I, where I went to school. And there was so many parks around. There was like a trail right behind the school. I think they like prettied it all up. But it was pretty much just you could L- do whatever. A lot of nature pre- playgrounds now. Huh? A lot of nature playgrounds yeah. now. Yeah. Those yeah. things scare me. I, I hate my kids playing on those things. Why? Because I, f- I feel like they can neck themselves in any scenario. <laughs> like, I don't know well, that. <laughs> talking about necking. Well, <laughs> you got the uh, nature's playground. I've got to be careful how I say this because someone's going to clip it in a weird way. But you've got the nature's playground, which is nature. But then you've got something like Tumblr. What's Tumblr? An app back in the day. Okay. Where all the kids started to formulate all these agendas and ideas and all these fucking weirdos started to go yeah oh you feel that way yeah let's nurture that yeah yeah, instead of actually going are you a fucking cat or are you actually a human being ah yeah instead going oh you feel like a cat come into our community and validate it Uh, we'll validate that's tumblr can can i patch you yeah that's (laughs) tumblr and guess what happened to some of those kids that got groomed into that community and then they realized that they weren't Actually, cats. Are they the groomers now? No, that's what you said before. They're depressed. No, it's what you're afraid your kids doing on the nature's playground. I neck themselves. Yeah. Oh God, damn. Yeah. So we've we've created this. Yeah. Damn. So how do we fix it? And this is going back to my main point with the kid, my kids with the phones. I want to warn them and guide them to go. You're going to go online. You're gonna because they don't know how to, they, don't, to, they don't know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna talk to people, and the, and AI is gonna be fucking yeah insane by it's, then. It's pretty much a very thing, right? How now. do you know? Mm. How do you know that it's actually them? Yeah. Would you? It, what's what is the benefits of talking to a robot? To learn? Okay, cool. What are you learning? Yeah. Is it something you want to do, or are you getting gaslit into doing it? Yep. My biggest fear with AI is it becoming obviously self-aware to the point. But gaslighting you into say, thinking it's the right decision. You what, still have to think for yourself. What were those two AI, um, uh, t- two robot like machines that end up talking to each other and they had to get rid of them? Shit, I don't know. There was a company that had two machines and the two machines started communicating with each other and they had to like scrap them yeah. because they had a mind of their own, bro. There you go. Can't, can't have that. It's, it's already happening right now. No, can't have that. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, 
where we're deep into the convo, but we we need to talk about your Fringe Festival now. Fringe, yeah, yeah man, twenty twenty four. Like we're back again in full effect. I, I love Fringe, man. Like, my guy, when's your first? When's what what, what date are we starting? Jan thirty first is my, my first show, and so I've got a, I've got seven shows across from Jan thirty first mm. until February. 10th. Are you gonna be in that hut again? It's fucking no, hot. No, I'm gonna be a la- la- laugh resort. Oy. Laugh resort, yeah. So I'm gonna upgrading. be a laugh resort. Sh- shout out to the laugh yeah, resort. Nice. So I'm looking forward to that, man. Um, uh, second second year doing African Aussies, just been getting tight and tightened as well. So yes. yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely very excited to um, to see um, and reconnect with my audience. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I've been doing so much more crowd work as well now. So like I'm having so much more fun, man. I like, love the crowd work stuff. I yeah. think that's if when I start comedy one day in in person, I think my do- majority of it will be crowd work. Yeah, no, crowd crowd work is just yeah. authentic. You know I mean, because so. I, I have I have this idea, I have this play. A lot of these kids are like, Seb, when are you coming to June Delap shops? And I'm like, it's weird that you asked me to come so you can meet me. It's yeah. like the reverse of pedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the kid wants yeah, me. Yeah, to try to lure me in. Yeah, trying to lure me in, you <laughs> fuck. But I found a, I found a, a hack. Bring okay. your mum. Huh? Bring your mum? Bring your mum. Yeah. Yeah, br- bring a witness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring your mum. And obviously yeah. in a public place, but um, the... The thing with uh, comedy, right, um, the crowd work stuff, these kids who are, you know, teens, maybe a little bit younger, they're going to go into their 20s yeah. and they're going to remember me. And I think that's when I'm just going to absolutely clean up the comedy scene. Yeah. Because they'll remember you me. you got a core audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So that's kind of like a 10-year plan. Um, but I'm excited for your thing. Sorry about bringing it back to myself. No, 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 no. no. It's, a, it's, a, it's fun um, to talk about myself more. Um, but gotta, gotta let me know if you're coming through as well so I can yeah, set some tickets aside. Absolutely, for you. absolutely. And yeah. then, yeah, description, everybody listening. Um, Emo Majok, African Aussie. Exactly. Um, uh, you That's can get that on the Fringe website. Are you gonna bring out content? Are you gonna put snippets up? Are you gonna. Yeah, do it's all I've, that got a, shit? I've got a bunch of stuff that's coming out right now. So I, I've, got, um, I've got my video guy, Bailey, who's um, yes. a Canadian dude based in Melbourne at the moment. He's my guy, man. He's How's been, he gonna video you from there? No, so he's been he, like he, so our comics lounge films all of our sets. So Bailey has access to all of my content. So yeah. he just he, he just edits. And oh just, shit! Oh shit! Someone's someone's calling. Oh, oh, it's for you. It's Michelle. <laughs> it's Michelle. Michelle Obama. Hey, <laughs> finally <laughs> we need a woman in office. <laughs> hey, say hi to B Dog for me. All right, peace. <laughs> <laughs> I call him B Dog. We know each other like we know each other like that. Quick conversation, man. Is that really what <laughs> Yo, you would I, say? I've been, I've been meaning to get myself one of these old school. Uh, uh, Bro, you had you had her on the phone. Is that all you would have said? Yeah, but, but I'm I'm more of a like B Dog's my guy. So B Dog, like, yeah, I, B- get, I can ring him back and get him on the phone <laughs> and just try to make sure that he doesn't think I'm trying to make a move on Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, all right, um, and uh, yeah, what's in store for twenty twenty four? Twenty twenty four, just um, just just continue our uh, continuous growth, um, more writing, more crowd work, more goals, more achievements. Um, uh, we're gonna at the end of the year, we'll always finish it with our annual Black Santa as well. So yep. can't wait to come up with uh, some ideas of what we're gonna do this year. Yeah. So yeah, twenty twenty three was very fair to me, man. So I'm definitely happy Amazing. about how it ended, and uh, we just yeah, we're just gonna hit the ground running, man. Like just. Bigger moves, bigger moves, bigger yeah. moves. Be a better version of myself. Always strive for improvement. Yeah, most All definitely. Right. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Plugging, yeah. uh, obviously, you would have heard in the uh, throughout the show uh, with Bright Tank as the major sponsor, and uh, now we've got Denon as a sponsor. So Denon, Denon sounds like Danos Direct, but Denon, Japanese audio company, they have some legit shit. And as you know me now, I don't plug anything and everything it's only the stuff that i use i have not used airpods in probably two months these here are the best in-ear phones i've ever used can fucking confirm so uh get yourself one of these or check out denon online and yeah i can't give you a discount but i'm just gonna let you know anything from japan anything swear by it that's right so yeah yeah, denon d-e-n-o-n check out their pearl pro range um they've got some um, cheaper versions um and then they've got some headphones they've got some all this other shit they've got vinyl record players and stuff and they've got sound bars and that anyway that's enough um yeah Tune in next time as we 
fucking have someone else on the show. <laughs> See you later. Seb, always a pleasure, brother. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>